guys, um, I am bringing to you a makeup haul. We had another one of our like biannual, quarter annual, I don't know how many to often it shows up, makeup sales. So of course I went and I couldn't help myself. I spent some money. I picked up five things, um, five very useful things in my opinion. I will start from probably smallest to the biggest. I think is how I'm gonna do this. So we'll start off with the smallest which is an AOS lip balm. This is in the flavour Lemon Drop and yes it is already opened. I could not help myself. I needed to smell it and it smells like heaven. I can't tell if I like this one better than my sweet mint one. I just... Mm, I want to eat it. It kind of just smells like kind of like a lemon custardy shubity goodness it just smells like heaven picked this one up for nine bucks too so it was a little bit cheaper by like a whole dollar than the last one but there's that yeah um next up we have got i picked up a face wash this is the yes two tomatoes clear skin daily clarifying cleanser my skin is having a hard time right now so I was looking for something that I could use that wasn't herbalism because I think my skin might have kind of got too used to it or something but maybe if I shake things up a bit because that is kind of more of an exfoliant whereas this is just a foamy I assume it's foamy, it's probably not even foamy it doesn't smell that great though it's not foamy but this might be a little bit more gentler than herbalism so I thought I could just mingle it together and come up with a new skin routine this was nine dollars this which is a bargain considering how much it is in normal stores like farmers has it for like 15 or up this range is real quite is real quite expensive real good england um is really expensive so nine bucks is a bargain man next along we have got the opi turn up the juice evo juice skin quenches flavor pack um, these are hand lotions, just to put it bluntly. These are some of the best hand lotions I've ever used. And they come in the best flavours. We have got jasmine, coconut melon, mango, cran and berry, violet orchid and apple pie spice. Um, just, I can tell already that apple pie spice is going to be my favourite. Just hands down, I can just, can't even get into this thing. I'm going to... Uh, oh, 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 I've just got the box. Just got the box. So this is jasmine. Oh, that smells really good. Oh, wow, that's so nice. Oh, I like that one. Obviously, smells like jasmine. Um, next, we have got coconut melon. I feel like this will be quite tropical. Oh, wow, that coconut is strong. That smells amazing, though. Oh, I love the smell of coconut. It's beautiful. And then we've got mango, which, you know, should hopefully smell like mango. If not, we've got a problem. Oh, mate. Oh. Oh, that is the beautiful, most beautiful, beautiful scent I've ever smelled in my life. If I... Oh! Oh, I just squirted it everywhere. Let's time hand lotion break if I could just have that in a perfume I think I would be set for life if anyone knows of any like mango perfumes let me know I need to find one that is beautiful next up we have got cran and berry I feel like I might have already smelled this one before oh that's quite nice it's not, oh just got it on my nose Ugh. so this one's not very overpowering but it's, it's still like the other ones are really like whoa you can smell that but these are kind of this one's a, bit, a little bit more subtle but it's still a really nice smell up oh, fan of that one definitely that's gonna be so nice um next we have got violet orchid i feel like this is gonna be like the jasmine one this is a really oh i can't even open. oh there we go yeah no that's like the jasmine one this smells beautiful i feel like i want this in like a room summary oh it's real nice I knew I really used to be a fan of these like jasmine and like orchid stuff. I like the like the fruit scents and the sweet, the really super sweet scents. But 
I'm liking this. Now for the moment of the truth. This is the apple pie spice. Fingers crossed this has got cinnamon in it. Oh, I knew it. This is definitely my favourite. This one's going to my handbag straight away. Oh, oh, that is heaven. Apple pies and cinnamon are like my favourite thing in the world. Yep. That's going straight in my handbag, that one. That was amazing. So that is all six hand lotions. And that, that is perfect for your handbag, I reckon. Um, the, These six in the pack were, was $12, were $12, were $12. I think it's a pretty good bargain. It's like two dollars each. Pfft. OPI hand lotions are like the freaking best. I love them. Like they don't leave your hands feeling greasy or anything. It's great. Um, well, let's move on. Let's move on. We're getting rambling away on hand lotions. Next, we have got the LA Colors Dramata Lash five pack set in Little Flirt. Um, there was another set which I was contemplating on first. But then I saw this one and I thought this one's a little bit more me. These are a lot more natural. Um, there is the very first set is an invisible band, so I'm excited to try that. I've never tried an invisible band set of lashes before. They're kind of I don't know. It's really hard to explain. And then the last four all have dark bands. The um, probably the middle two, which are these two here probably are the most dramatic out of the lot and look like well this the fourth pair looks like it's more for length than anything whereas the others look like they'll give you a bit more volume yeah I feel most of them are volume and then just a couple for um length length volume I can't remember what I'm talking about anymore but there's that hopefully these work all right like eight dollars for five i think is a pretty good bargain but i don't really know what they run for retail anyways so who knows i might have to do a blog post on this one and let you guys know how i get on and then you can see them all up close too but that's them that's them let me know if you've had any experiences with any la color lashes and let me know what i'm in for okay so this is the last thing I bought. This is the most important thing I bought. I'm slowly building my collection. But that is the W7 in the buff lightly toasted. Um, they had in the nude this one and in the smoky I think it's called. Which is the new one. Which is a purple, purple tin. Um, I was tossing up between this one and in the smoky. These are $14 each at these makeup sales. So I was only set on buying one just because I wanted to buy lots of different things instead of like two of these but um so I, yeah I picked this up these this is just I think this is stunning um so you, these are basically dupes for like naked palettes I think but um so these are the colors here um oh they're just really stunning colors these ones are a little bit more of your like <laughs> Oh, they're a little bit darker than the in the buff which is the original w7 nude palette and then came in the nude and then come lightly toasted and then came in the smoky i think it's called i can't really remember but these are such beautiful beautiful shadows i will link my blog post for my in the buff palette in the description so you can see the swatches and stuff but i will also be doing the same for um, lightly toasted I will have a blog post so I will definitely link my link to my blog in the description so you can check this out and that is all that I've got from this makeup sale I will also link my previous makeup sale haul down below um, just excuse the lighting in that one it just wasn't working out well for me but uh, that is all um, Thanks for watching guys, if you enjoyed this please let me know, like the video, comment below and please subscribe, woo! Um, thanks for watching guys, peace out.